Hey everyone, it's John Reed, author of 50 Things to See with a Telescope. Welcome to the Homeschool Astronomy Challenge Series. In this video, we're going to learn to spot the International Space Station. This is Learn to Stargaze. So about seven years ago, I made a video about how to photograph the International Space Station, sort of like this one where I used a green screen to show how it was done, but as a result, I had to block literally hundreds of flat earthers who were leaving hateful comments on my channel. Apparently the fact that we have space travel completely obliterates their worldview. In this video, we're not going to use a telescope or camera to photograph it. The goal here is simply to see the space station pass overhead. So first, a little background on the space station. Construction in space began on November 20th, 1998 with the launch of a Russian module named Zarya. Over the next 13 years, additional modules, trusts, solar panels, and thermal panels were brought up primarily by the space shuttle. The station has been continually occupied since November of 2000. Nowadays, there are typically six crew members on board at any one time, with three crew members coming up and three crew members departing about once every three months. The station is visited about nine times per year by robotic resupply missions, which bring up experiments as well as essentials like food, clothes, water, and air. Space begins at about 100 kilometers in altitude. The space station orbits at about 400 kilometers. We can see the station at this distance within a few hours of sunset or before sunrise because the station is still lit by the sun and is reflecting that light. The space station orbits Earth every 93 minutes, but because the Earth is rotating under it, it passes over a different location on each orbit. From a given location, you might only get one or two sighting opportunities per month or several per week, some after sunset and some before sunrise. So as long as it's after sunset and there aren't any clouds, you do not need to go to dark skies to view the ISS, as it will probably appear brighter than all the other stars in the sky. It could even be mistaken for an airplane, except that it's moving over 30 times faster, moving from horizon to horizon in generally less than four minutes. To observe the station, you need an app or website that identifies your location and calculates where and when the station will appear in your sky. For this, there are several options. I prefer the website Heavens Above, where you set your location and then click ISS to get a list of upcoming sighting opportunities. Clicking on the date creates a sky map of the station's path across the sky, customized for your location. If you're following along in the 50 things to see with a telescope activity workbook, this section is found on page 29. Check the box to record your observation. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to spot the International Space Station. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next video, and remember, the future is looking up.